Hi Leo, this is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. So we're going to go ahead and look at your 2022 love predictions, love forecast reading. What can you expect in your love life? Who's coming towards you? What's coming towards you? So I did do a general 2022 reading for each sign. So if you haven't checked that out, um, I did post that, but this one's going to be focused on love, relationships, connections, um, and take a look here at whatever spirit wants you to know. Okay. So it could be that this is about you. It could be about somebody else, just whatever comes up here. What can you expect in your love life in 2022? So keep an open mind. Nothing is ever set in stone. So this is not going to ever be set in stone. So just really listen to your own intuition, listen to your heart, um, and just take what resonates with you. Okay. So let's see. So spirit guides, angels, what messages please do we have for Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, anyone tuning into this reading, what is coming in for you in your love life in 2022? So who's coming towards you? What's coming towards you? Who might you be connecting to? What do you need to know, Leo? So Spirit, any messages for Leo as we enter into the new year? What changes are ahead for your romantic life, your love life, relationships? All right, let's see. All right, what's coming in for Leo in 2022 in your love life? Spirit, what do we have for Leo 2022? We have the Five of Swords in reverse. What's coming in for Leo, the viewer, in 2022 in love? We have the world. I'm seeing we have the five of cups in reverse as well at the bottom. So two fives, definitely a lot of change for you. Closing a major chapter. What else do we have for Leo in 2022? What's coming into your love life? Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What else is coming in for Leo 2022 in your love life? Three of Wands in reverse. Let's get one more. One more card for Leo in their love life. The Hermit in reverse, okay? And the underlying energy. is the star. So like I said, I definitely feel like there's a lot of changes for you. I did see the five of cups. I saw the, well, we have the five of swords here, the world. Um, we have the world, the wheel of fortune, the hermit, the star. So it seems like definitely a time of healing for you here, Leo, for the star to be the underlying energy. Um, and the Ace of Swords is beneath the star, it does feel like this is going to be a year for you to really heal. Um, the star is a beautiful card of, of healing, of hope, of renewal, of receiving divine inspiration, getting back in tune with your, you know, your purpose, your spirit, your guidance. So it is going to be a healing year for you. Um, if any of you have been going through a loss, whether it's an emotional loss here, because I saw the five of cups in reverse, the five of swords in reverse is the first card to come out here. So this is definitely indicating that there's removing yourself from any form of conflict, people who have been draining you, mental conflict within yourself, um, will confirm what that is. But if it's been any form of toxic connection or toxicity around you or people who have been kind of, um, making it difficult for you to have peace. I do think this is going to be the year for you to really close out those chapters. Okay. With the world, it's really a mastery for you. I do see though, with the wheel of fortune, the three of wands here, 
It does seem like there's a bit of a delay for you, though, when it comes to knowing kind of where you're going, you know, because the Wheel of Fortune in reverse can talk about the timing not being quite right or, you know, the... Um, the cycle here because the three of wands is also in reverse so it's kind of like either we're waiting for something that's not coming in or we feel a bit blocked when it comes to our progression when it comes to our future so with the hermit here the star i definitely see there's a lot of introspection for you so let's see tell me about the five of swords for leo in their love life spirit in 2022 tell me about the five of swords Wow, the devil, the moon, and the two of cups all in reverse here. So yeah, whatever this, whoever this is or whatever this is for you, if this is a previous connection for you, or if it's not a connection, it just seems like it's really a, a lot of heaviness within the emotions, a lot of heaviness within, you know, maybe even our subconscious. So I definitely see here though with the world that this is coming to a close for you or next year at some point, you will decide to close out some chapter here that has been very um, turbulent for you. The Two of Cups in reverse would tell me though that this is probably a disconnection from somebody or this is probably a um, falling out of a connection. Um, it could also be just being available to a connection because the devil and the moon can almost be like a very gripping energy that floats around in our subconscious. It can be very um, codependent even. Things that make us feel like we don't have control. You could have also been dealing with somebody like this too, though, who was very uh, maybe manipulative for some of you with the five of swords. So it's like you're coming out of confusion here. Tell me about the world for Leo in 2022 in love. The Hierophant in reverse. For some of you, it could even have been a marriage that you're coming out of or potentially next year. We'll see what else comes up here. It could be a separation of a marriage. Um, could be a divorce if that resonates with you, if that's something that you're aware of. Um, because the Hierophant can be like our belief systems, our values, our integrity here. And it may be speaking to a higher level of commitment, but it's showing in reverse. So with the world here and the devil, the moon, seems like there's a lot of deep things that are being resolved for you. What is the Wheel of Fortune here in reverse for Leo in 2022 in love? Yeah, there's a new opportunity though. The Ace of Pentacles here. So you have, let's see, tell me about the Three of Wands reverse for Leo. King of Wands reversed. And tell me about the Hermit in reverse for Leo's love life in 2022. The chariot. Yeah, it kind of flew out sideways like this. And then tell me about the star. As the underlying energy, the star for Leo's. The Ten of Pentacles. So like I said, it could be for some of you that this is a healing um, from a connection or a marriage, if that resonates here for you, or you're healing in order to pursue something that's going to build into the Ten of Pentacles. So you have this Ace of Pentacles coming in for you next year, but it's showing as a pentacle here, an opportunity that has not been taken yet. So it could be that this is going to be about needing to find the direction to, to kind of get to this opportunity. Um, for some of you, it's kind of coming out of hermit mode or coming out of the cave here in order to start moving or start, um, progressing towards something here. So let's confirm and see. 
So tell me about Leo spirit in 2022 in their love life. For some of you, it could be a second chance. And I'm, I'm definitely seeing that this could be more so if you're married or if you were married or if this is a longstanding commitment for many of you with the Hierophant here. Um, and if this is like a falling out of some of a connection um, that is a long-term connection or someone who wants to kind of offer this new pentacle to you. And this would this would be if... if um, It's like a brand new beginning though. Let's see, for Leo in 2022, tell me about this Five of Swords, the moon, the devil, for Leo's love life in 2022. What is this? What is the theme here of this? Yeah, it's somebody who you were on different pages with. Um, and this could even have been that this was, like I said, a difference when it comes to your belief systems. It could have been a difference with your, um, like maybe one person wanted commitment, the other didn't. It could be something deeper than that. It could be religious differences. It could be family differences. It could be just something to do with, again, your belief systems here. Um, so it seems like with the moon, the devil, the five of swords, there was some form of conflict here. If it hasn't happened already, it could potentially happen next year, depending on the timeline. So if you're kind of in a struggling time period with somebody, it may be that you kind of need to take some time apart in order to either close out the cycle and move on to something different or figure out how to get on the same page here with each other because it seems like there's been a disconnect disconnection of a connection here or there will be a disconnection tell me about the world here for leo in love 2022 we have abundance yeah so you've done the work abundance now flows to you we also have children so it could even be that this is involving children this topic here because we have mastery here too so you definitely have learned a spiritual lesson here leo um, and I think next year for you is about reaping the rewards of what you've been through, even if it's been difficult, even if you've been through kind of a, of, a, of a karmic lesson, or you've had to just really resolve whatever these differences is, or whatever this, this difficult situation is here with the star, there is a lot of healing available to you. There's new inspiration. There's even some of you following your life purpose as well. And this is coming after this difficulty. So with children here, um, since I'm seeing the Hierophant, the Pentacles, like I said, it could be that this is you that has children or this could be about children. Maybe you're on different pages with somebody about children. Or this is a marriage involving children somehow. So tell me then about this Wheel of Fortune reverse, Three of Wands reverse for Leo, Ace of Pentacles. We have obstacles. So there are obstacles here. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse and the Three of Wands is in reverse is because it seems like even though you've really mastered something, maybe the next step for you is going to be a little bit confusing. Tell me one more card here. What's coming in for Leo next? We have awakening. So both people in this situation, in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. One more card. So for some, it could be, like it says, two people who are going through a spiritual awakening. Um, if this is a healthy connection or this is you that's going through a spiritual um, awakening, a transformation with the Hermit here too. And maybe you're kind of next year in 2022, you've mastered something, you've completed something, you're moving forward. And then with the chariot here, it's going to be about you finding that direction, you know, and really sticking to it here. Um, but you could meet, need to sort of come out. I think it's more about coming out of hermit mode or coming out of the awakening because you seem to have mastered something. But you could have a true love connection here that is meant to be a part of your life. Let's see what else we have going on here. So what does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? Yeah, for many of you, this could have been a divorce. 
And if it's not you that has been going through a divorce, it could be somebody else. Either that you're meeting this person or you've been dealing with somebody who has gotten a divorce. I'm seeing that somebody could be very confused or having mixed signals here. So what do you, Leo, most need to know about your love life in 2022? What does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? We have transformative. This love will be deeply transformational for something new and powerful to emerge. And we have on guard. So guards will be up in this relationship. It's okay to be cautious and take it slow, but make an effort to trust a little bit more. For some of you, it could be somebody who either is married or was married. Or if when you meet this person. But I'm seeing that there's a cycle closing. So for most of you, this is about, um, you know, making the right choice, whatever that's going to be, like moving away from one connection. But there is going to be some guards up here. So you may be very guarded and afraid. What, what does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? We have smooth sailing. A new love interest will be easy to get to know, smooth and steady, relax and see where the boat goes. We do have pregnancy here. So there is something about children. So um, let's confirm that. And we have divine timing here. For some of you, it could be somebody who's long distance from you as well that you're going to be meeting or you already know who this is. So... Let's see. I want to get a little bit more information here. What does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? Some of you may want to have a child if that's something that you're wanting, because it does say here, a new love is entering your life who you may have a child with or work on a new project together. So it could be if you um, are wanting children or if this is someone that you're going to uh, want to have a family with, then that could be what this is about. It seems to be about timing though. We have flirt. What does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? We have trust. Have faith. What does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? Separation and wedding. Yeah, this is definitely in here. We have religious factors. So that's what I was referring to before. Um, there's something here. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's religion or if it's someone that you're in separation from, but there's definitely something involving marriage here that you... We'll see. What is the outcome then for Leo spirit? Where is this whole thing heading? Reconciliation and passion. So yeah, I really kind of feel like this may be a reading for those of you who either were married to somebody. Um, a couple of things. It could be that you were married to somebody or you had a very long-term connection and maybe you're trying to give this connection a chance again, give your relationship a chance after you've both really learned quite a bit, um, especially if you have children or if this is a serious commitment. Um, it could potentially be for some others of you that you are coming together with somebody after there's been a divorce, after there's been a separation, either for you or for the other person. But I definitely see here that there's something here about separation and then reconciliation. And at the bottom here, we have karmic completion. So yeah, there's, there's a karmic completion here. But you do have a happy ending. 
So what does Leo most need to know about their love life? And the pregnancy could, could be, like I said, you're going to either have a child with this person or there's been something involving a pregnancy somehow here in this picture. What does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? And there it is, happy ending. So yeah, you have a happy ending here. So this seems like there's a very positive happy ending here. We have abundance and we do have love partnership. So if things have been difficult for you here, Leo, I see here that whatever's meant to happen, for many of you, it does kind of feel like it's a reconciliation um, or it does feel like a coming together. But that's really only if you feel that and that's only if this is something that you think is healthy for you because I do think that this is um, something that I feel is a true love or it's supposed to be a true love connection and i think that this this abundance we have abundance twice the abundance flows to you now so just know that there will be a happy ending for you there will be a shift of events for you even if you've had to go down a different path you know for some of you you're you're moving past completely and maybe you have to make a decision to go into a different path um after releasing something else over here that was toxic what does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? We have communication. So it's going to require very open communication. You could be receiving important communication here from somebody, you know, maybe from this person. And it seems like it's going to be a big part of um, the year for you to, to communicate and to um, grow. So let's see, what does Leo most need to know about their love life in 2022? What's the advice for your love life, Leo? Something new is on its way to you. Loosen your grip to release and receive. So yes, you have something new, um, whether it's somebody new or something just new. It feels like, because with the world being here, it feels like an, a completely new cycle is opening for you. So it feels very exciting. It feels very positive. Um, and this will be that you need to kind of loosen your grip, allow it to flow, allow it to happen. We have embrace, uh, excuse me, be where you are. Every situation has its gift. To move forward, we must first honor where we are. For now, where you are is where you need to be. So with the world coming through as well um, and the rest of the cards, it's like this is about you really honoring where you are, how far you've come, even if it, things have, if it have been difficult, um, knowing that you've come very far and being able to be in the moment as well. Because for some of you with this Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Wands, the obstacles, there is still a slight delay here in whatever this is. There has been some obstacles. So even through the obstacles to acknowledge where you are and to grow with that and to accept it. We have make an adjustment. Pay attention to how you start and end your days. Create a healthy routine that inspires and balances you. So this could be spirit Spirit's advice for you to... Um, pay attention to how your routines are. It could be, you know, something that you do in the morning or at night. Um, making adjustments to your schedule could could allow things to maybe flow a little bit more easily for you. Because since since there's a delay here, one more card for advice for you, Leo, in your love life. We have connect with others, host a movie night, or have a slumber party. Surround yourself with loving energy. So this could be connecting with people who are, are good for you, like-minded people. Could be the same person here, but just being open to receive. So let's see what potential zodiac signs are coming in for you, or who could this potentially be? This won't be for all of you, of course, but Leo. Who is Leo going to be connecting to in 2022? Aries, who is Leo going to be connecting to in 2022? We have, okay, we have the moon here and we have the sun. So 
<laughs> that actually gives me a feeling of, of complementing the feminine, feminine and the masculine. So it's a, it's a beautiful energy of, of balance, of balancing here. So the sun and the moon could be just a very balanced kind of equal partnership coming in. So it's also a reminder to balance your own feminine and masculine energies. So who's coming in for Leos in 2022? We have Mars. So we're getting all planets here. Mars. So action, passion, drive. What's coming in for who's coming in for Leo in 2022? We have Virgo. Okay. So we have Virgo and we have Aries as the two zodiac signs. So let's just get the final messages for any timing that's important or any additional advice for Leo in 2022 in their love life. Any additional information spirits for their love life? We have Capricorn here as well at the bottom. And then we have Pisces also at the bottom. P Pisces, Aries, and Libra showing here. So Aries coming through twice. We have St. Patrick's Day. A sober mind is needed. No tricks and no games. So this is about, um, you know, having a very sober mind when it comes to the new experiences coming in or potentially reconciliation and being open to having no games, no tricks. Um, so kind of doing things differently. We have Christmas, give freely to others. So it could have been something happened at Christmas time. Uh, we do have Capricorn, so it could be now Capricorn season, or this could even be next Christmas. We have 1111, so Ascension, Twin Souls, Reunite, or Unite. So yeah, there's a lot of Ascension here. There's a lot of spiritual energy for you um, in terms of uniting, ascending, um, definitely here. But yeah, and then we have Scorpio as well, so Passion. So we do have Passion twice here too, so it could be a Scorpio as well. Um, or could just be moving with passion, moving with heart, moving with, you know, that, that passionate Mars energy as well. So I really hope this could help you, Leo. Thanks so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of the holiday. Much love and take care.